Hi, we are very excited to share with you the AlphaFold 2. This is AI based software to make a prediction about the 3D structure of the protein. In this video, we will let you know how easily you can have your 3D structure of the protein using AlphaFold 2. So let's begin. As you know, the proteins are the building blocks and it's very important to know about their structures. There are the three different experimental techniques to determine the 3D structure of the protein, including X-ray crystallography, NMR, and cryo-electron microscopy. But all of these techniques are very laborious and time-taking. Scientists were working on the computational methods to make predictions about the 3D structure of the protein using amino acid sequence. But there was no big success until very recently when the DeepMind released AlphaFold. The AlphaFold can have a predictions about the 3D structure of the protein with up to 90% accuracy. Wow, that's amazing! On the 15th of July 2021, the DeepMind published their groundbreaking paper in Nature describing AlphaFold 2 algorithm and also providing its code to all the scientific community. The code is available on the GitHub. If you look at it, the code, then you will find it out that you need to have a very good computing power to run the AlphaFold. For instance, you need to have a 1 terabyte of the hard disk to download the AlphaFold database. So what to do? Most of the biologists don't have the access to such high computing power. This issue is resolved with the partnership of the DeepMind and the AMBL. This partnership resulted in an AlphaFold protein structure database with 350,000 predicted protein structures from a 20 different organisms. So if you are working with the protein structures, then you don't need to predict them. First search them here in this database. If you are going to find out your protein three-dimensional structure in this database, then straightforwardly download the structure and use it. Now let's try to have an idea that how to search this database. You can search this database by using the protein name, gene name, uniprot ID, or the organism name. For instance, you don't have any idea about the protein name or the gene name or the uniprot ID. Still, you can search this database by using a protein sequence. Now, to search this database by using a protein sequence, you need to use a third-party tool. And this third-party tool is a protein similarity search tool of AMBL. The link of this tool is provided in the description below. Now here, what you need to do, here you need to scroll it down and then you need to click on this structures. Then here in this drop down menu, you need to select the alpha pole DB and then below you need to paste your protein sequence. And finally, you need to click here on the submit button. When you will click on the submit button, then after a few moments, you will have the result page. And here on this result page, you are going to have all of those structures which are similar to your protein sequence which you have submitted previously. Now you need to click here to get an access to the protein structure which is predicted by the alpha folds. So when you will click it here, then after a few moments, you will have your protein structure. Now this is your sequence three-dimensional predicted structure. Now here you can see the four different type of the colors in that predicted three-dimensional structure of the protein. Blue, light blue, yellow, and the red. The blue region is actually indicating a very high level of the confidence, while the red color is indicating a very low level of the confidence. Now let's assume that you are not going to find out your sequence three-dimensional protein structure in this database. And what to do? It means that you need to use the alpha fold now. As we have discussed previously, there is very hard to use an alpha fold on an ordinary system. So what to do? You don't need to worry. Here we are going to have a Colab notebook. Here on this Colab notebook, you need to scroll it down and then you just need to copy and the paste your protein sequences here. After copying and pasting your protein sequences here, you need to come up here in the runtime. You need to click it down. When you will click, then there will be a drop down menu. And in this drop down menu, simply click on this run all button. When you will click on this run all button, then the process will begin and after the few moments, depending upon the size of your protein, the structure will be predicted by the alpha fold and it will be ready for the download in your system. Hopefully, this tutorial will be useful for you regarding to the use of the alpha fold. By the way, please let us tell you that we are offering a very exciting course regarding to the bioinformatics on the Udemy. You can check it out this course and the link is provided below in the description box. 
थैंक यू सो मच